In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war! So that's why today I'm gonna paint this guy. So today is a Wednesday, and it's technically a school day, or uni day, class day, but I don't have class. I'm free to do whatever I want. So today we're gonna paint this miniature from Warhammer 40k. So this is the Primaris Lieutenant. Now what does that mean? No clue. I mean, I have clue, but it will be hard to explain. But here is a Primaris Lieutenant. This is what I will be painting today. And just look at that detail. There's so much detail. Now, Warhammer 40k is a really expansive uh, universe. And this isn't the only miniature that I've painted. I've painted quite a few. I'm still a beginner of the hobby, but these are the few that I've painted so far. They're all Space Marines. They're Ultra Marines, if you know what that are. And yeah, they're pretty okay. They're not the best painting job, but I think they're pretty all right. And here's another close-up shot that I want to show you guys. I just admire the detail. This thing's only like three centimeters tall. I mean, my God. I mean, just look at the shield and the chest area. There's so much detail in this small 3 centimeter miniature. So here's the first mini that I've ever painted. And it's a ultramarine, of course, a space marine. And you can see that the shading, the job, and the paint scheme, it's kind of just basic. The shading's not really good either. Uh, here's the most recent one that I've painted. It's a Primaris Sergeant or something. Not sure. <laughs> There's more color, more advanced. Uh, technique, but it's still pretty basic So you might be wondering what kind of paint I'll use. So I'll give a quick overview So for the base paint of the Space Marine, of course, I'll use McCrag blue any reds that I need I'll use Memphis in red Other things like the the gold accents I'll use Retributor armor like over here you can see on the chest in the pauldron and Any white I'll use Corax white so here are the paints that I'll use for the base. And the other things are, I'll use Abaddon Black for any black accents that I may see, like the guns or the weapons. And I'll use Lead Belcher, Lead Belcher, Lead Belcher for any uh, silver stuff. As you can see here, like the, the jetpack or boost pack, whatever they call it. And Agrax Earthshade for any shading. And I know that I'll need colors for the satchel, so I'll use this green base color and a combination of that with Memphis and red because I don't have any brown, so I have to make my own. And yeah, these are the other colors I'll be using, aside from the base colors. So to start off with painting, I'll start off with this assembly. Because painting the whole thing assembled is a pain in the ass. So once I got that out of the way, I need to find a paint scheme. Now I don't know how to paint a Primaris Lieutenant, so I just found a random image on Google and this is what I came up with. So this looks nice, I'll try to copy that. It won't work 100% though, but we'll see. So first I gotta paint the whole body uh, in blue, Memphis, in, I mean, what? no, my crag blue. So this is what I end up with, with the uh, half of the, the body. Next step will be to paint the arms or the, the limbs. So here are the, the left and the right arm. And this arm here that's holding the gun is so detailed, there's so much detail in it. And it's kind of a challenge that you see later on to paint the gold accents. The gun is old, I decided to go ahead and paint the gun the, the black color, just to get that out of the way first. So here are the finished product of the, both arms. So next I'll paint the gold accents. Here you see me struggling very much with trying to paint precisely. And my camera's blurry. So here's the finished product, it turned out pretty well, pretty, it turned out pretty well. So here's the head. I will say the head is a major pain to paint all the detail because it's so small. You'll see later on that there's uh, that thing. I didn't even bother recording that part because it's it just took so much time, so time consuming. On this booster pack, jet pack, whatever they call it, gotta paint that blue as well. And I'll be adding the silver lead belcher to it. And 
And here you go, here's the part. This looks pretty good. Next, I'll add the gold accents to it on this uh, thing up here. Kind of realizing that I'm dirtying my cutting board in the process, but eh. So here you go, here's the finished product. That skull in the middle right there. It took a bit of time to paint, but it, look, it turned out pretty nice, I might say so. So, going to move on to the torso, the front torso area. Now this has a lot of detail, so I'll go, I took a lot of time with this. And I'll start off by painting the base color of blue. Next up here are the some cloth parts, which Again, I don't have a specific cloth color, so I used white and this Buckman glow to combine it to create whatever that thing is and proceed to paint. Now for the shield part, there's a lot of detail on the shield, so I'll start off with painting the whole thing white. And I'm not sure if this is supposed to be what what it's supposed to be, but my, my white came clumped like this. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be, but whatever. <laughs> So here I got my shield done. Now it took multiple layers of white paint to get to this look. At first, the first layer was kind of, it was too watery. It didn't really stick on very well. Now going on to paint the accents in the gold. Now this took a bit of time as well, because there's a lot of gold on here. I also went ahead and paint the back as well. So here's the front area first, here's the edge. And the back area, I went ahead and painted black and with the gold uh, edges as well. You can see here painting the front area with the other gold accents. This was kind of really hard to paint because I'm scared of uh, messing it up. <laughs> so here it is, here's the finished product. It looks pretty good. Pretty nice. So much detail, I mean, I'm so amazed by the detail. Here's the back. This is beautiful. So moving on to the sword, now it's on a satchel, so this is where the brown comes in. It took so long to get the right color for the brown. I even ended up getting not the color that I want, but it's good enough. So it just took me a bit of time to combine red, green to make the perfect color. In the end, I ended up with this thing. It looks, it looks all right. I don't think it's the correct brown. It looks a bit too dark. But here you go. I just painted it over. Just you know, it's good enough. I went ahead and paint the satchels on the body as well and the holster. And for the gold accents, I painted it in I painted the sword hilt. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. So once the whole figure is assembled, it looks like this. It looks pretty good so far. Now it's time to shade. So I'm gonna use Ur Agrax Earth Shade to shade. I have to be careful with shading because in my first model the shading job was really poor. As you can see, there's like splotches of black all over the place. It's just not really good shading. So I'm gonna pay more focus to this one. As you can see, being very precise with a small brush. In the end, it didn't turn out that great as well, but it turned out better than the first one. Hi, okay, so it's about 2 p.m. right now, and I haven't eaten lunch yet. I haven't eaten breakfast either. So I'm gonna order, order food real quick, and by the time it arrives, it should be around 2.30, and I'll have my lunch. Okay, got the food. Now, usually I eat on this table, but since we have this situation going on, I'm gonna eat on this table.
So lunch break is over, came back to now painting the torso, the gold accents on this lock and key and cross thing. Now I developed this technique of kind of poking the paintbrush onto the, the things. It, it sort of worked, but it also damaged my paintbrush quite a bit. Now with all the gold accents painted and everything combined, this looks amazing. It looks good already. Like hot damn. Now I'm gonna go on and do some highlights. I use this big brush and basically dip it in the white paint and then just remove all the paint out. So it gives a little bit of paint left on the brush and just kind of brushing it gently all over the mini to get a nice kind of a, a white highlight on the edges, the hard edges. So just do that all over the miniature. And in the end, we get this nice looking thing. Like, oh my god, it looks beautiful. I swear, this, I'm so proud of this. It's so gorgeous. Now the last thing we have to do is add the decals, which comes in this piece of paper thing. I have to dip it in water first to make it kind of soft and moist, and then it'll be easier to come out. I use a knife for this. And let me tell you, this thing was a pain. It was a pain to apply. It just doesn't stick. It doesn't stick well, and it doesn't align itself well. So you can see me here struggling with a paintbrush, trying to make it stick to the, the shoulder pauldron. And this front piece right here, I don't know where to put this cross, so I just decided to put it into the, the shield in the front. But it turned out okay, I guess. It's not even straight. So once that's all done, please, may I present you the final product. My god, is this thing so beautiful. I am so proud of what I've painted here, guys. I swear to god, this is beautiful. I can't stop looking at it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please give a like and subscribe. And comment down below what faction you play in Warhammer 40k, because I really want to know. Thank you, and see you next time.